Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, gorgeous MGB Roadster. Happy birthday to you. It deserved that fanfare. Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this absolutely gorgeous MGB Roadster, which turns 41 years old tomorrow. You can't make it up. First registered on the 6th of August, 1974. We're filming this on the 5th of August, 2015. And this car looks better, well, than that Lexus for a start. And that's a lot newer. This car looks absolutely stunning. And I'm sure you will agree when I go around it and I'm showing you here that it really is in absolutely fabulous condition. It's not gonna win any prizes, unfortunately, any shows, but the price does reflect that but it's going to make you very, very happy if this is occupying a space in your collection of cars or indeed in your garage. So you can go and have a look at it whenever you want. Uh, it's on that original number plate, which is just ridiculous. That's gotta be worth some money itself. Uh, you can put screws if you want to, officer. Uh, you can put some screws in there to make the word uh, Su Chin, perhaps for a, uh, an oriental person who wants to buy a classic British sports car. Uh, if you want to put such in, I don't know what that means, or indeed, as it says right there, suck in. So if you're a Herbal Life distributor or a weight loss person or a fitness instructor, what better number plate for you? But you would not, unless you want to uh, invoke the word sacrilege, take that number plate off of this car. That is its original plate from 1974. Now there is a fabulous history with this car. Uh, which I'll try my best in this short video to explain to you. So it was first registered, as I said, on the 6th of August, 1974, 41 years ago tomorrow, and it was sold when it was two years old to its current keeper. Now that current keeper didn't keep this car for the entirety of those 41 years. Uh, in fact, what they did is after uh, their first child was born in 1978, they sold the car and then, and then the story continues. In 1994, that original keeper went and found the car using a freedom of information request through the DVLA and adverts in MG Motors magazines, uh, one of which we actually have a copy of that's coming with this car. Uh, the seller found the car again. It had changed color. Originally, it was in orange blaze. And when he found it again, it had been completely refurbished and resprayed in this fabulous red and he kept it, but he had it completely reconditioned, including a brand new hood, which is underneath that tonneau cover. Uh, and he spent a total of, well, just over in 1994, of 5,000 pounds getting this car into this condition. He picked that car up with 69,875 miles on the clock. And it now sits here with 71,000 Oh, I think it's 72,800 miles on the clock. He gave it to his wife as a 40th birthday present. And well, let's just say she preferred something a bit more modern by then. So it's been passed around through his family. His Both of his sons have used this car and absolutely love this car, but it's hardly been driven at all. And that is the story of where we are today. But right, I can't stop walking around it and showing you it. I wanna get up close and personal with you, uh, with this car, because I wanna show you absolutely everything. I'm also gonna show you how fabulous the interior is of this car. Just look at those seats. If that doesn't make you just think of the 60s and the 70s, and really British sports cars at their finest, I don't know what does absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if we have a look as well, we can see this really cool layout on the dash. All original. Uh, if any switches have needed to be replaced, then original switches have been put in. Uh, no replica parts. These are all original MG parts that have been used on this car. Uh, it's running like a dream. Uh, it's got a full MOT until May of 2016. Uh, it's just had a new condenser and new points as well, just to ensure that it is running absolutely perfectly. It starts first time with no problems. You might need a choke, uh, which you need to just pull out if you want to get started quickly. I don't know what else to tell you. Right, let's get up close and personal because it's not in concourse condition. So I just want to start over here and you might be able to see here just bouncing around. We can get this sorted, but the customer who's selling this car through us here at Sell Your Car UK 
they're selling it as you see it here in this video so there's a tiny tiny little dimple dent just there where some evil person who couldn't care less about nice things has opened their car door into this one uh, as i say that can be repaired uh, you've got on these steel wheels now you might argue that these aren't the right wheels to have for this car but they are the original wheels and that says a lot uh, now the wheels are steel wheels and there is some build-up of rust you've actually got five of these wheels because the spare wheel is exactly the same as this loads of life left in those tires and the brakes are all good as well uh, now as we come down this driver's side of the car i just want to show you the paint is in really really good condition until you get to about here and then you can just see a little nicks there again probably from people opening their door into it who knows uh, and then a little bit up here as well a little bit of a scratch going on there uh, and then as we come around the back here tiny tiny little scratch here on the paint hopefully that's showing up uh, it's a bit hard to see here on my screen whether or not that is it is good uh, and also on the boot as well let me just come to that here uh, and i want to show you everything on this car again is that showing up you can see me <laughs> Hopefully that's showing up there. Uh, any inspection is welcome. We're not going to get underneath the car here, but there is absolutely lovely uh, underneath the car. There are some bits where it's been welded and spot welded and repaired, uh, but I think you'd expect that on this car. But there's no horrible rusty bits at the moment which are going to push through. I'm just showing you that rust there on the wheel. And again, loads of life in that tyre. Hopefully you can see that there. Uh, on the chrome here on the rear bumper, needs a good bit of treatment there doesn't need re-chroming but it does need a professional person just to take all of those little spots there uh, the car has been as i say the car was uh, was purchased in 1994 in fact while we're here let me open the boot uh, i'm just going to show you the boot as well gorgeous really gorgeous i mean i'll get up close and personal with it because there are a couple of tiny little imperfections in the paint and a tiny little cracking of the paint just there which could probably do with being treated uh, the badge is lovely loads and loads of shine on that badge and you've got the mgb badge just above it uh, i'm going to open the boot which holds in place like so uh, in the boot you've got all of the docks now i'm not going to go through it all in this video right now what i'll do is um i'll stop and start this video so i'll go back to the shop in edgeware where we're based at sell your car uk and i'll go through all of the docks at the end of the video uh not entirely but a breakdown of them all but what i just want to show you here is first of all talking of a breakdown of them all uh this is a breakdown report from the 1st of july 2015 where it just cut out and wouldn't start simple fix we uh, got a distrib uh, a condenser and points and now it absolutely runs lovely uh then we've got bills going all the way back the last one from the 12th of may 2014 and the first one from the 12th of june 1981 how impressive is that uh, and that is from colburn motors with an 01 telephone number nostalgia and 141 pounds and 33 pence spent which is a lot of money in my head in 1981 uh, and we've got loads of bills here in 1984 and then i mean i'll show you this in the office this here is five pages uh, of faxed paper saying what's been done in 1994 and then we've got bills here going all the way through 1996 we've got there uh, loads more of bits and bobs here it's just loads it's very hard to show you all while flicking one-handed uh, april 2004 2011 in march so these are all of the service bills here this is all the service history also coming with the car is all the mot history uh, which i'm again not going to go through all of it you've got here though an mot to the may the 19th 2015 and you've got mot's here uh, going back through the 90s and the very very first mot that we've got here uh, which is this one here but i'll just try and show you the front of it if i can and that is from 1981 unbelievable uh, then you've also got loads of photographs that have been taken of the car uh, going back to 1994 when it was first purchased back by its current keeper i say current keeper it's been passed around a lot uh, through the family so it's actually showing which is really sad but whatever showing nine former keepers but most of those if not all of them are the family who have had it since 1994 uh, and you can see that because we've actually got evidence here of the car being purchased back including this fantastic letter uh, to the dvla 
Uh, I'll just, uh, this is actually stuck to the pad, so I'll just show you here. Information from records sent to the DVLA on the 5th of May, 1994, saying, I would like to trace the current register keeper of the above car. Uh, enclosed in it is a check for £3.50. I do wonder how much they charge you these days for this service. Uh, and then it's a load of history here in this folder, all relating to trying to get that car back and getting all the work done to it that it was needing doing, uh, including in here as well, uh, a whole long list of all the work that was carried out prior to 1994. And I will just show you this now because it's fabulous. This is Enjoying MG Magazine. And if I flick it open to here, into the lost and found section, there we are, SUC111N, sucking information wanted on the whereabouts of this chrome bumper roadster in Blaze, sold by myself in 1978. Please telephone Anthony, and there's his old number, you won't get him on that anymore. Uh, so that is history like you would not believe coming with this car. I'll go through it all in much more detail back in the shop, and that'll be on later on in this video. Also coming with this car is the full cover for when the roof is down and you want to stop rain getting in. So you don't need to put the roof up, you can just put that cover on it. Uh, and also you've got on it at the moment, this lovely tonneau cover. Right, I'm gonna shut this boot, which is not the easiest thing to do. There we are, uh, one-handed. So there we have that. Right, I'll go through all of that in more detail. I just wanted to show you all of that here in this video so you can see for yourself. Uh, right, now let's come down to this passenger side uh, just to show you there's a tiny bit of cracking in the paint just here, which is a real shame, a little chip here. Uh, could quite easily, I imagine, be repaired. But as I say, the seller of this car isn't gonna be doing that, so you'll have to take care of it. Uh, the tonneau cover here in lovely condition, no rips or tears. And then if we continue down here on this passenger side, uh, it's well worth you coming down and having a proper inspection of the car. I want you to see it for yourself, but this video is just going to save you a bit of time so you know exactly what it is you're coming down to see, even down to this little scratch just here, which hopefully you can see. Uh, now, as we're going down this door here, you can see no dents in this one, but again, tiny, tiny little imperfections, which I think you can forgive a 41-year-old car. Happy birthday, car. Uh, another little tiny scratch just here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If I'm not mistaken, there is also some little marks on the chrome. Yes, there are things like that. Uh, and there's another dent somewhere on the chrome. Very, very minor. Can't see it here. Must be on the other side. Uh, I'll have a look for it. And if I see it, I will show you it. Just to uh, show you as well here, the wheels again, great condition. Still got that rust building up on it, but otherwise absolutely fine. Loads of life left in those tires. Again, on the front, and let's just show you the rear as well. There you go, you can see that there. Loads of grip, loads of tread, and that wheel as well, looking good. Uh, should I show you? Yeah, I can do while we're here at the back. Let's open this up again. I love this petrol cap, how retro. Uh, right, I'm gonna move this out of the way very carefully. Put it all over here, just so I can show you, seeing as we've done all that service history and everything, uh, just so I can show you this wheel. And again, uh, this one's probably the worst of the lot actually with that bit of rust just there, but it's to be expected. It is a steel wheel, it does happen. And now I'm going to, again, one-handed, one-handed. There we go, shut that boot. 41 years old, it's unbelievable when you look at it. Uh, I'm just gonna get down here nice and low and I'm gonna just try and show you underneath the car and you'll see for yourself, it's in great condition. It's as you would expect, that exhaust is certainly in very, very good condition. Fast car, great number plate. Huh? Great number plate, sorry, I'm just doing a video and somebody's just pulled up in an awesome brand new Lexus with a very cool number plate. It's a Lexus ISF, that one, isn't it? Yeah. ISF, can we just show it in this video? Yeah, so this is a 41 year old MGB yeah. and this is a four day old. RCF. It's an RCF, yeah. wow. Very cool. Look at that, you couldn't have two more different cars if you tried. Uh, right, let's crack on with this video. I'm gonna try and show you underneath the bonnet in this video. So I'm just gonna open up here, and I'm just gonna actually, while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna show you here on the inside. Let's give this bonnet release a pull. Now I'm gonna just show you here, under the bonnet, something that I just want you to be aware of, but we're gonna try and sort this out before anyone picks up the car, and that's to do with the soundproofing. The soundproofing here needs to be glued 
back in place. Uh, but let's just hold that in place for now as I just show you this engine. Very, very clean engine compartment. Now, as I say, the car was originally in blaze and has been fully repainted in this flame red. So everything from the inside of the bonnet, uh, the inside of the boot, which you saw before, everything has been painted and meticulously done as well. Uh, you've got your lovely chassis number down here. Not much really to show you down here, but I uh, just want to make sure that you are aware it has got an engine. Uh, right, now this is even harder to close one-handed, so I'm just going to... There we go. There we go. Let's just move this out. As I say, we'll sort that out prior to anyone taking delivery of the car. And I'll just show you while I'm down here, all of this chrome here. So the chrome surround on the front grille is looking lovely. Uh, if you're very fussy, like I said, this won't win any medals in any shows, this car. But if you are fussy, you can get a new grille for this quite easily. Uh, and this chrome all around here is looking lovely. But again, could probably do with somebody coming out, a professional chrome uh, expert, sorting all of that out. So it absolutely gleams and looks fantastic. Uh, no cracks in those fantastic Lucas headlamps really is in lovely condition right what I'm going to do now in this video after 15 minutes so if you're still watching it you must love this car as much as I do right now I'm going to jump into it and I'm going to start it up so that you can see for yourself just how good this car really is 41 years old tomorrow uh, and there we are I was right at the second time it's done 72,853 miles the ignition is just down here so I shall pop the key in here like so Give it a turn, pop the clutch just in case. Bit of juice. Didn't even need the choke. And take my foot off the accelerator, make sure we're in neutral. And you can hear it's just ticking over. It's just idling, absolutely lovely. Good oil pressure, good temperature. I'll let that heat up a little bit. Uh, you've got here as well your air conditioning. Air conditioning, I make myself laugh fans uh, so you can turn the fans on here with this little fan button pushing that button there and it all works i can hear that hopefully you can as well uh, but i can also feel it which you can't obviously on the video uh, you've got a stereo coming with the car uh, which i actually have the paperwork for believe it or not uh, the stereo though does need changing because we've lost the eject button We've lost the fast forward button uh, and so that means really you can't listen to the radio you can only listen to the tape but it could be worse because the tape that it's got in it is pretty good and the stereo is too have a listen no electric mirrors uh, these are very cool these little side vent windows what a nice touch that is uh, really lovely everything's working on that the windows go up and down right i think what i'm going to do now uh, i'll turn it off there's no need to keep it running so what i'm going to do now as i jump out of this gorgeous little mg happy birthday car uh, i'm going to stop the video now because what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put that roof up okay now there's no way i can do that here on this video whilst filming uh, it's impossible you need to unlatch all of these little poppers because we're going to be putting this tonneau cover in the boot because i want you to see the condition of this roof in this video so uh, let's stop the video in a really nice shot of the car and then we'll try and come back in that exact same spot and just like magic, the roof is up. So my friend in his RCF Lexus is now gone. Uh, we were talking for about 15 minutes. Uh, five of those minutes were spent talking about his car and 10 were spent talking about this. It really does, go it gathers a crowd. It gets so much attention and everybody who's seen it so far that I've been with the car has absolutely loved it. Now I've put the roof up. Uh, the roof uh, was properly folded away to get that tonneau cover on. Uh, very easy to take up and down the fabric stretch is absolutely lovely and you can see here just how good the condition of this roof is uh, now there are some tiny little gaps in the windows uh, here you can just see a little bit of a, a gap there into the car uh, personally speaking i wouldn't take this car out in the rain anyway it's up to you of course uh, and if you are going to take it out in the rain we'll drive with the hood down for goodness sake it's an mgb uh, also inside just to show you uh, the back window is a little bit grubby the plastic has seen better days so it's not the easiest thing in the world to see out of you can unzip that though uh, so you get full visibility going backwards should you not want to have the roof completely down uh, but do want to Get maybe some air flowing through the car as well so there we have it you can now see absolutely everything there is to see about this car 
but of course any inspection is welcome including if you want to get a mechanic uh, get up on a lift check out everything uh, in fact while we're here in this video you're still watching you obviously are interested so i will show you just here i want to show you the footwells uh, so we've got these mats and i'll just lift up here the carpet as well so you can see here uh, there is obviously some rust which i think is to be expected i'm not going to lift that up completely because it's obviously glued in place or held with stoppers actually i think i don't know uh, but if you want to have a look then you can do i'll uh, feel free to come down and have a look at the car again a bit of rust just there uh, but if i put my thumb on it quite hard pushing down it's not breaking the metal's in good nick uh, it just is what it is it's 41 years old let's see how you look in 41 years time although in fairness i don't know how old you are now but are you looking as good as this car i certainly am not and i'm a bit younger uh, right now let's just lift up this carpet here easier said than done i just want to show you again so there's some evidence here of a bit of spot welding that's gone on uh, and you can see the rust there but really and truly it's to be expected give it a good tap seems fine i'm no expert on this if you are then please come down and give it a good once over if you're not and know someone who is bring them with i welcome any inspection as does the current keeper who is selling it simply because it just doesn't get used and if it doesn't get used then it really does deserve a home where somebody is going to love it cherish it and use it it is only available for sale exclusively using our services here at Sell Your Car UK. Uh, oh, hang on, there it is. Tiny little, I said I'd notice it. Tiny little dimple there in the chrome where some evil person has opened their door into this car. Why would they? Uh, I'm sure you can get all of this sorted out. If you really, really had the time and the money, you could get this car as good as any car in show. But really and truly, for the money that it's going for and the condition it's in, I don't personally think you can do better. Especially not with that fabulous history that's coming with the car. So, we're going to go back to the shop now. The video is going to stop here and it's going to pick up again in the shop where we're going to have a look at all of that service history. It's a long video, this one. Okay, so we are now back at the shop here based in Edgware. Sell your car UK. Uh, the car's looking absolutely beautiful with a very reasonable price tag on it and a couple of for sale magnets but this is why we're back at the shop because it's just not possible to show you all this service history at the car in the boot uh, if you watch the rest of our videos on youtube you'll see that we normally put them in the boot and we're able to very quickly thumb through it all but this is not going to be so easy it's an absolutely unbelievable service history in all honesty it's a 1974 car remember so it's 41 years old tomorrow in fact by the time you watch this it probably has already celebrated its 41st birthday uh probably played golf uh maybe went out for dinner with its wife or husband um and uh, then went home into bed typical 41st birthday uh but by the time you're watching this uh you will now be if you are up to this point you'll now be very much interested in all of the service history now i'm not going to go through it all page by page i'm going to highlight some key things that i think are worth knowing for example we'll start right over here with 29 yes that's 29 mot certificates it's just unbelievable it's beautiful this service history uh, it's not complete the first mot is from 1981 uh, the last mot going here 1981 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 92 we've missed one sacrilege 93 94 95 96 97 98 we missed another one 2000 uh, I don't know, what's wrong with people? Uh, then we miss another one, and we go to 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2009. Oh, we missed another one. Uh, 2011, seriously, You're just ruining everything now. And then we go over here to the new lot. So we've got 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. Uh, if we look at the 2011, we can actually see that there wasn't an MOT done on the car between 2009 and 2011. And it's probably the same for those missing ones as well. And when you look at the mileages, you can kind of get an idea as to why it probably didn't have MOTs. I mean, just to show you back here in this box, 
Between 2011 and 2014, the car did 200 miles. Less than 200 miles, 150 miles. And if you look at the 2012 to 2013, uh, and indeed the 2013 to 2014, sorry, the 2011 to 2012 and the 2013 to 2014, that mileage is probably to the MOT center and back again. That's all that was on that car uh, between those times. Now the most recent MOT has got some advisory items. They are just that, advisory items. Uh, something about a fuel pump mounting. The cotton reel is broken. Both front tires are perished or cracking, uh, which I don't personally see, but it is an advisory item. And the parking brake lever has little reserve travel, which is also in the previous MOT as well. That just means that when you pull the uh, handbrake up, it's basically going all the way up to the top. Maybe get the rear brakes adjusted. Uh, it's up to you, entirely up to you. It's coming with these advisory items on the MOT and I'm showing you this in this video so that you know that. But I think that's really not a lot to worry about um, and certainly is not gonna scupper anyone's enjoyment of the car. Uh, fantastic MOT history. Uh, now, if we go through the service history, seriously, I almost can't take my camera lens off of that, but I'm gonna have to uh, as I go through the service history and I'm gonna start at the most recent services. So we'll just walk up here. Um, and we can see things that are recent services. Uh, now this is the most recent thing done to the car. It was done in July 2015, and it was, as I mentioned, uh, the car was cutting out, and it needed one of these, which is a condenser and points. Uh, they should get changed every 6,000 miles or every year, so that's just been done. Uh, that was done on the 1st of July. Then, as well as that, we've got some uh, bits and bobs here, all sorts of bits and bobs. Uh, not all services, probably the last service on the car was done in 2012, the 28th of June 2012 to be precise, and there's a service bill for that there. Uh, then we've got services 2011. Um, it goes to 2009, and you saw from the MOTs that uh, the car wasn't really used between those dates. Excuse me while I stretch over these things, just want to check and see what was on that. Uh, not a lot. Carry out an MOT test. Uh, is all that says on that 2009 uh, and then if we have a look here we've got one here from 2008 where it was a service carried out by pds autos as i say i'm going to try not to go through every single piece of paperwork uh, but i wanted to show you so you've got all of that stuff in that little line there from 2008 to 2014 uh, then if i step back down here from pds autos 2007 2007 some aa stuff from 2005 and 2006 uh, then another thing from pds 2006 2005 2004 2004 in april uh, full service carried out on the 28th of may 2003 then here's something from 2001 something from 1998 something from 1997 something more from 1997 Something here as well oh, that's attached to that. And then something here from 1996. Oh, right, so that's all servicing and stuff. MG services, PDS, you name it. Now, prior to 1996, as I kind of hinted at in the early part of this video, this car was fully restored in 1994. It was originally owned, uh, and in fact, let me jump away from the service documents and come over here. So it was originally owned back in 1976 by the gentleman, a Mr. Anthony uh, uh, Angel, Anthony Angel, sorry, I had to think about that, uh, who owned the car in 1976, sold the car in 1978, and then in 1994, wanted to buy it back for his wife's birthday. Now we have the documentation to show it. In fact, funny enough, uh, we have a letter here. Uh, this is actually a copy of the letter sent to the DVLA, requesting the information of who the current keeper was uh, and uh, as he says there, he wants to buy it for his wife um, as, a, as a gift. Uh, it says there, it was when my wife and I were first married, I was to purchase it for her 40th birthday. Now the DVLA, this is a hilarious, the DVLA actually wrote back saying, uh, here we are, we have a letter here from, uh, from May of 1994, explaining why they don't make public the information of owners. And in doing so, sent back the cheque here we are here, a cheque for £3.50, issued the 5th of May 1994, uh, and uh, this uh, was sent back with the original letter. Now that involved, uh, then then after that, uh, Mr Angel, Anthony Angel, decided to get a private investigator on the case, uh, and he says here that he's asking him to search out for this car, 
he says, I have now discovered the car still does exist. And what he did as well was he placed this advert in the MG magazines. Uh, this one here saying, if you know where the car is, please get in touch. Well, somebody did. It's amazing. Uh, and the person who did very kindly gave the car back, but it wasn't exactly uh, as the car was expected and required quite a bit of work to get the car back to a top standard. What I'm showing you here, uh, these are actually a uh, duplicate. So this one here is for work that was supposedly quoted. And then on the right hand side, this is work that was actually carried out. Now, if you want to go through this all very slowly on your computer, watching this video on YouTube, then feel free. Alternatively, you can always come down to the shop here, uh, see the car, see all of this service history, spend as much time as you want. Any inspection is welcome as well. So if you want to bring a mechanic, uh, if you want to use a lift and get the car up in the air so you can have a look under it, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, we'll facilitate all of that here at Sell Your Car UK. Uh, now the grand total for work on this is £1,653.91 and pence, and that is all from November of 1994 and it was paid. Uh, we have two bills here as well. Another bill here, a special part. I don't know what that is, but uh, we've got a bill here that's paid for £189 on top. And then we've got another bill here uh, from MGB Spares and Service. This is also from November 1994. And uh, that's how much total this cheque was raised for, three and a half thousand pounds. However, as well as that, if I now make my way back up this huge pile of paperwork to MG Spares and Services job card, which we have here, 95 and a quarter hours spent getting this car all back to scratch uh, and it shows a total amount of in fact not three and a half thousand not four and a half thousand but just over five thousand that includes 95 and a quarter hours charged at 21 pound an hour what i'd give for 21 pound an hour labor rates these days uh, now this was 21 years ago it is also this letter from mg spares and services which says in it uh, how much they would like to be paid and uh, all of the other bills as well here that go with it. Loads of bills, uh, more bills and the like. Uh, and somewhere here it gives you a total of just over, I might be looking at the wrong thing actually here, but somewhere here it gives you a total which equals just over £5,000 spent in 1994 on this car. Uh, now, what we don't have is a bill for how much the car was bought for, as I now make my way through the paperwork. Uh, so we don't know how much the car was actually purchased for. Uh, the seller kind of seems to remember it being around about the £5,000 mark and then spent another £5,000 getting it all done. That included a new hood as well, which you've seen in the video, which looks fabulous. And then after that, when they got the car, they gave it to their wife and the wife said, yeah, you know what, it's lovely, very nice gesture, but I'm just not going to drive it, which is why... In 1994, we'll go back to the MOTs for this proof. In 1994, the mileage on the car was 68,975 miles. So literally, we'll call that 69,000. The mileage today is just a little bit over 72,830. In fact, it's probably closer to 72,9. In fact, we'll call it 73. So it's done 4,000 miles in 21 years and as you can see from all of the bills here and here money's been spent it's insane uh, now it also came with some history from prior to the seller uh, that's our seller here at Sell Your Car UK uh, purchasing the vehicle back so we've got a bill here that's from uh, 19 looks like 1989 uh, pretty hard to sort of work out it might be a four you be the judge. Uh, I'm sure if this company is still going, you can call them, although you'd need to dial 08, well, 0181. Uh, or no, you would 0208. Oh my God, it's been a long time since this bill was written. Uh, we've also got a bill here from 1982, and then from the, I love this one, 24th of December, 1981, Christmas Eve. Somebody said, oh no, my hoses are split and I need whatever that word is, um, and spent 13 pounds 22, the 80s. Uh, in fact, more like the 70s. We've also got another bill here. This is hilarious. From the 28th of November, 1981. A black hood. Less 10%. Got a discount. Plus fitting. 66.93. Try getting a hood and it fitted for less than £70 today. Good luck. 
Uh, right, we don't need to, in fairness. And then underneath that, we've got some bills here from July of 2000, uh, 2081. Yes, from the future. Uh, from July 1981, a full service, including some tyres. Uh, look at that, two tyres for £26.75. Oh, I could cry. Uh, and then here from the 12th of June, 1981, uh, and again, all this servicing here and all this work being done to it comes from a total of £141.33, which in 1981 is actually a blooming fortune, considering you can get a tyre for 26, got two tyres for £26.75. Right, that's all of the bills, all the documents. I'm now going to have to put all of this back together. Ah, oh, I found it. Here is the uh, letter here uh, that says the total amount, £5,154. There was a bit of a dispute over this because I think it was a bit of a shock to get a bill for that much in 1994. Uh, but that's how much this thing costs to fix and get up to scratch. Uh, now, we've got here some log books and everything. Now, it's showing nine former keepers. Most of those people have the surname Angel. The car has been tossed and turned from one family member to another. Uh, the last time it had a change of name though was in 2003, I believe. No, I might be wrong about that. Yes, yeah, sorry, in 2008, 18th of September, 2008, it transferred to the wife who got it for her 40th birthday. In 2003, it was one of the sons. It's been another son. It's been back to the other side. It's been back to the dad. It's been, it's been all over this family angel. And rather than just keep the car registered in the one name, they have transferred it each time, which is a bit of a shame, but I'll give you copies of all of those documents. You'll get every single document here, essentially. Um, and that just helps you to keep that history all in check. Wow, 10 minute long video about paperwork. If you're still watching this, then I'm surprised my phone hasn't rung yet. Now, here's something very interesting. We're selling the car for a very fair price. In 2006, a three year valuation was put on the car, totaling 10,000 pounds for insurance purposes. And that was done by MG Insurance Services. So these guys knew what they were talking about. Now the car is in exactly the same condition that it was back then. I say exactly, there's probably not exactly. There's probably a bit of paint flaking, a couple of rust bubbles. Uh, there's certainly, you know, some work that can be done to it, but this was 21 years ago. So for us to sell the car for what we're selling it for today, well, I think it's a very fair price. Now, you've also got loads of photographs. You're more than welcome to sift through these. And if you want any, you're more than welcome to take pictures or photocopies of them and the like. Now, these were all used for valuation purposes. Uh, this one here, stamped 2006. Uh, this one here, one of them here, I'll show you here. One of them, I believe, is stamped 2003. You can just see that there. No need to show you all that. And they're lovely pictures. They really are. They really show a great history of this car. Um, loads of pictures, some duplicates. You're more than welcome to take copies of whatever you want, but the actual seller of the car really would actually like these back. Uh, this one's from October 2000, uh, these pictures were taken. And you can see the car is as it is in our video today. So if you want any of these pictures, you're more than welcome to them. Uh, you obviously have to buy the car. Uh, and when you do, if you want to take copies of these pictures by photocopy, we could scan them for you. Well, we're more than happy to do so. So that is everything absolutely everything to do with this car. I'm exhausted. I say everything. Uh, there's still a whole file over here of paperwork, some of it duplicate paperwork, some of it from Halfords for the stereo that was bought, an old tax disc, something here about how to look after your classic car with all the different things you need to keep the paintwork looking nice. So much is coming with this car. Uh, and on top of that as well, you've also got the keys of which I'll hang them up in front of here, of which there are two for the locks and one for the ignition. So you have two keys uh, and one for the ignition as well. So that is all coming with the car. Oh, all you've got to do is get in touch. And in fact, I've been going on about it now for so long, the sun's gone in and it started raining and I'm absolutely gutted now because I've now got to go and move this car into a secure underground storage to keep it out of the rain because the last thing I want to do is get this car wet. Although I might drive it with the roof down to get there. I'm only kidding, but you would though, wouldn't you? So that is absolutely everything. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video here from Sell Your Car UK. Uh, here is all the docks, it's coming with the car, and, and there is the car. I completely forgot tax discs. We've got tax discs from 95 all the way through the 90s, all the way through the noughties. Well, missing out the first two years anyway, all the way through the noughties. And then 2010, 11, 12, 13, and 2014. Uh, there's no tax disc for 2015 because they stopped doing tax discs. All coming with this car. Unbelievable. Sorry, I forgot about that. 
Right, I think that's everything. In fact, I'll do it in proper Excel Your Car UK style. So, if you want to get this gorgeous MGB Roadster on a 1974 end plate that's only done 70 something thousand miles, it's only done 2,000 miles in about a million years, well, there's only one place to get it, and that is Sell Your Car UK. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's gorgeous, even in the rain.